Alrighty guys, the moment we've all been waiting for to see if our pages get created dynamically. So if we could click on any one of our menu items in our information tables, and I'll click on services right now because it does not have a page. This is Village Park, has two pages, video has one pages, and service doesn't have any pages. So I think it's only fair to click on services. And, uh oh, looks like we need a CSS reset file, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm probably not even going to do it because we know what to do with that. Point. Just go get CSS reset file, copy and paste it above all of your CSS that we've created so far. So moving forward, I'll just scroll down a little bit to make it look a little bit better. And for services, okay, so let's go ahead and create a new page to this information. I should, um, yeah, services. Page name, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and call it Sweet Josh because that's the name of my dog. Sweet Josh, do I want this to be visible? Absolutely. And I'm going to go to HTML hyphen ipsum just to grab some lore in ipsum. Doesn't matter what you grab, just something that'll help populate our web page. Copy that. Let's go back to our site. Control V and create page. And if we click create page, this should work. And our new page called Sweet Josh should show up underneath our services menu in, uh, in this information tab right here. So let's go ahead and click create page. There it is. Here's our web page. All right. This is looking good. Well, not really because we don't have any images or cool CSS, but that stuff's all easy to do. What I want to talk about next is that if you guys are getting lost at any point, just go to my website. And if your edit underscore page dot PHP file is messed up or your edit underscore info or your edit underscore or your content dot PHP page, go ahead and I'm going to put all the files on my website just like this. So every file we have here, so I'm going to go ahead and whatever it's titled by, new underscore info, delete page underscore info, content dot PHP, that's what I'm going to call it. So this would be content dot PHP underscore 97 because I believe this is the 97th video. So for whatever reason, if your code is a semicolon off than mine, or you're missing a form or a function, what or whatever it might be, go ahead and search for this, and you'll find the code for it. Hit search, click on the page, and uh, copy and paste it back in your file. All right, guys, uh, I'm very proud of the progress we've made so far. What I want to do in this next video is work on this edit page button, so we could edit our pages on the fly, dynamically, just how we've created them. Alright guys, well good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.